Hi everyone, this is Mindy Egan for Lawn Fawn and in today's video I'm going to be creating a shaker window using the Secret Garden die. So this is a look at the Secret Garden window die and I'm only going to be using that inside piece. I really do like that arch to go around it but for right now I just want to create the window with all of that die cut detail in there. So I started out by centering this on a piece of 80 pound white cardstock. I held the die in place with some post-it tape and now I'm going to color in those images or those die cut pieces using my alcohol markers. The markers that I'm using today are Olo markers, which is another brand of alcohol markers. And I'm starting out with kind of like this light teal-ish color. This is BG 2.3 in the Olo markers. I colored in some of those leaf die cuts that are poking in from the window and then I went around with a 2.4 BG 2.4 and just added a line on each leaf to give it a look of a shadow. Then for the tulips I just did a G 0.4 for my flowers. I have R 5.3 as the lightest color and then R 5.5 to add a little shadow in there. And then for the other pieces that are in there, I have this BV 2.2, which is a really beautiful kind of light bluish purple. It was just a really nice soft touch to that. Now I'm going to be ink blending a panel of white cardstock again. This is 80 pound white cardstock. And I started out with shaded lilac. I have it kind of darker on one end. As I blend towards the center, I'm going to get lighter. And then on the other end, I'm bringing in tumble glass and these are going to overlap slightly but I don't want it to be very intense. I want it to be very soft so it kind of has a whimsical look. So this is the panel that's going to go behind those pieces that I had just colored in. Very very whimsical almost kind of like very magical almost. Now for a little added interest I brought in some white paint and added flicks of that to the background and also some of the liquid stardust and I was not shy about adding that liquid stardust to the background because I love all the shine and sparkle that it creates. And this panel is going to work beautifully with the shaker elements that I have picked out. So I am going to kind of help heat this or not heat this but dry the panel because it can stay wet a little longer. So I used my heat tool for that and then back to my window I'm going to line the entire back of my window with some double sided tape and then I'm going to peel that back. I like to use my craft pick to help move that release paper and I have a piece of acetate cut to four and a quarter by five and a half that I'm going to place over that. Now you could definitely not do acetate and not do shaker and just have that really pretty background but I really wanted to kind of have some more sparkle to that. So to do the shaker, I'm taking foam tape and lining it on the back of this. You just want to make sure all of your foam tape is connected so you don't have any shaker bits fall out. So here I have that completely lined with my foam tape and then I'm going to be taking some of these really pretty iridescent stars and placing them in the center of my cardstock. I have it spread out because I did not double layer my foam tape. I only did the one layer. I didn't want it to be a super shaker card. I just wanted it to have a little movement. So once I remove the backing of the foam tape, I always start in my bottom left hand corner and work my way across the card and then just push that foam tape down so it's secured onto the background. So once I pick this up and shake it, you can see there's not a ton of movement in there, but I'm okay with that. If you were gonna be adding things like sequins and a little bit larger embellishments in there, you definitely wanna double up your foam. Now for a sentiment, I have some black licorice cardstock here that I prepped with an anti-static powder tool. And I'm inking up a sentiment that I picked up off of the Virtual Friends add-on stamp set. I'm inking that up in the Yeti pigment ink and stamping that down twice. And I'm going to sprinkle on some white embossing powder. Now you may notice there is another one there on the other side. I smeared my embossing powder after I heat set it because I didn't let it sit. So that's very important you want to let the sentiment sit for a minute or so after you heat emboss it because that heat embossing, it's still, if I want to say wet, but you need to just let it sit and cool down. 
So I trimmed that down into a thin strip and I backed it with another piece of thin black cardstock and also some thin black foam squares and I'm adding that to the bottom of my card. Now at this point, I really did not know exactly what I wanted to do for images. I wanted something there, uh, which is why I started with the sentiment. And then as I was digging through my stamps, I landed on the Dandy Day flip-flop set, which I thought would be super cute. It was just enough to add to the front of the card without getting carried away and blocking my window, I guess I would say. So I have the little mouse here that I'm coloring in some light brown markers from my Copic markers, and I'm going to give it kind of a uh, pink ear there and added a little bit of darker shade for the shadowing and then kind of a light peach color for the belly. I added a green for the stem and then my BV that I used earlier, I used over the dandelion pieces. I used the coordinating dies and some post-it tape to die cut my images out. And then I like to personally kind of put my pieces together if I'm going to pop them up and there are two separate ones. So I added a little bit of liquid glue to the um, hand and added that to the dandelion piece there. And before I attach that, I'm going to add those kind of flyaway pieces in the window. So I'm just using my mouse there as a guide, added some liquid glue to those smaller dandelion pieces and added them just right on top of the acetate. Now I am gonna go ahead and add some thin foam squares to the back of my mouse. And here I'm kind of, I'm going to tuck it underneath some of those pieces there in the window. So he's not really standing on top of it, but it just slightly tucked underneath. So while you could really have fun building up this scene with the beautiful flowers and vines coming in from the window, I thought having just this simplicity of the small mouse there was super cute. Now I did bring in a white gel pen and added some highlights to some of the leaves and the mouse, and then I'm adding my stickles. So I did some little dots here and there. Some of them I just added a line. I didn't color it in all the way. And once you see the close up of it, it just really has a nice sparkle to it. And also, like I said, there's not a ton of shake to this. You can see once I kind of shake it, there's not a ton of movement, but I love the simplicity and the stars and the background just really twinkle and shine with all of that splatter that I added. And that completes my card project for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again soon.